Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create this kind of growing vine or plant animation in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description okay. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here I am using Blender 3.0 nice. So now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. Now let's start this by creating a ground plane. So go to this add mesh select plane here. So press S and increase the scaling. Now press tab to edit mode right click subdivide and let me increase the subdivision counts to 85. Nice. So this is going to be our ground. So now let's import a pillar model here. So here I got this pillar model from Sketchfab. So go to this file import. It is an GLT file. So select this GLTF. So here I got that file. So select the file and import GLTF. Nice. So press S and reduce the scaling. Okay. So now let's create a path for growing vine or plant. So for that I will be using curves. So first of all go to this edit preferences. Come to this add ons and search for extra. So make sure this add curve will be disabled by default. So enable it may add curve and extra objects and save those preferences. So after that, so now come to this add curve, curve profiles and select this helix 3D. Okay. So here end angle, if you increase this end angle, we will get the rotations. So let me increase this to 720. So you can see we got these two rotations here. So let me increase this to 850 and height here. We can increase the height here and width. Let me increase the width here. Okay. Nice. So I think this is fine. So now press tab to exit that edit mode. So here you can see we got this pillar inside the curve. Nice. So now let's create our vine itself. So for that we will be using cylinder. So go to this add mesh. Select this cylinder here. Okay. So let me place this aside here like this so that we can work on that separately. So now press S on the keyboard and reduce the scaling. And now press S, Z and increase the scaling in Z axis. So length, I think this is enough or let me increase the length to here a bit. Okay. So now press tab to edit mode, select these vertices here, select this above vertices, make sure all the vertices are selected or else you can go to this edit mode and select the vertices, press S and reduce the scaling here like this. Press A on the keyboard to select all the vertices, control R to add edge loops here. So let me add these many of edge loops here. Okay. So I think these many are enough. So again, press tab to exit the edit mode. Okay. So now we got our wine ready. So right click smooth, shade smooth. Fine. So now let's add some textures onto this. So let me split the window. So if I move on to this corner here, we will get this plus sign. So hold left mouse key and separate the window like this. And this window change this to shader editor. Okay. So now click on this new shader. So we got this principal BSDF. So we got this principal BSDF here. So in this, let me change this to where is this material viewport. So let it be here like this. So now select this principal BSDF and press control plus T for node wrangler. So if you're not enable node wrangler, go to this edit preferences, come to this add ons once again and here look for node. So by default, this will be unchecked. Enable this node wrangler. Okay. And save those preferences after that. Select this principal BSDF and press Ctrl plus T to get these nodes. So from here we need to select the textures. So here I have downloaded some bark textures with maps from 3D textures.me.com. Download link in the description. Those are free to download. So first let me select diffuse map. So click on this open. So first I will select this base color. So we got this texture here. So we need to increase the scale in Y axis. So let me increase this in I think 80. So it is fine and let me see here. Okay. So we got this texture. So now select this image texture node shift plus D to duplicate it. Okay. So now connect this vector to vector of this image node and click on this number here to disable that or else let me close this and add a new texture. So open and here I will add this normal map. Okay. So for normal map, we need to add a normal node. So shift A 
and search for normal so select this normal map color plug in into color and this normal map we need to let me show you we need to plug in this to normal here okay so color space we need to change this into non-color so if i increase the strength you can say we are getting that difference so now let's add another map so select this image node once again shift plus d to duplicate and again connect this vector to vector here and let me close this and add a new map so let me add this which map let me add this roughness map open image and let me connect this color to roughness of this node okay so and also we need to change this color space to non color fine so now if i increase the strength we can say we are getting this nice look here so now we can close this so again move on to this corner and move it here so now we can see we got our bar ready so let me place this here like this okay so now we got the bark here but it is looking flat so let's add some displace modifier so come to this modifier options add modifier and add displace so now come to this textures add new texture and select the cloud textures here so now again go to this modifier options so here we can increase the strength or decrease the strength so it is not looking good now okay so let me reduce the strength here and first of all we need to apply the scale transforms so make sure to apply scale transform so select this cylinder go to this object apply apply scale transforms here so now we can see we got this displacement here so i will use this much and let me add a subdivision surface and viewport display let me increase this to two okay or else let me increase the strength here okay. or else let it be 0.5 okay so now we can see we got this nice bends all over the cylinder nice so now select this cylinder once again come to this modifier options add modifier add curve modifier here so in this curve object we need to select the helix this is the curve so select that helix and deform axis change it to z so now we can move along the z axis here so if i move this here you can see we are getting this nice animation around this pillar so first of all let me hide out this subdivision in viewport so that we can preview this easily okay so let me hide out this plane also so let me hide out this plane okay so here you can see we got this nice movement of this vine around the pillar okay so here if you want to change the path we can do that for further select the helix curve press tab on the keyboard select any of the vertices enable this proportional editing and we can move the curve here so the influence we can change scroll on wheel mouse to change the influence so i think this is fine and let me change the influence and let me change this here also and let me change this here a bit and also let me change this here also here okay fine okay. so now again press tab to exit that mode so now we can see we got this path different nice so now let's animate this bark here so beyond the first frame move it along the z axis here so i will make it here down so press i on the keyboard add a keyframe for location so here i will change this animation to like 300 frames and move to this 250th frame or else 240 frames and let me change the position so press g z and change the position here like this so i think this much is fine so again press i on the keyboard and add a keyframe for location so now select this keyframes right click make sure both keyframes are selected right click interpolation mode and change it to linear nice so now if i play this we can say we got this bark or wine moving around the pillar animation here nice so now let's see how we can add leaves onto this bark or wine so for that we'll be using particle system so for time being i will disable this curve so let me hide it out so we got this straight and also let me hide out the pillar also so select the pillar press h to hide it out 
okay so now select this cylinder or bark come to this particle system add new particle come to this hair select hair so now we can say we got this particle system here and first of all let me reduce the count to 100 later we can increase that and come to this render options so in path so first in path we need to select the helix here so select the helix later we need to select the objects that we want to project along this here so for this i will be using png images of twig or leaves so in order to use images as planes we need to go to edit preferences and here in notes search for images so by default this will be unchecked so enable it import images plane in enable it and save those preferences okay so after that here i got this few png images of these twigs and uh, leaves or flowers here so i'll be using them so make sure these are png images so in order to import them as planes go to this add images select this images as plane and we need to locate them here so here i will locate this one and import images as plane so now you can see we got this here fine so let me increase the scaling so press s and increase the scaling here and let me place this here and make sure the pivot point is at this position so i will show you why the pivot point should be at this position here at the tip of the leaf here so for now the pivot point is at the center of the image okay so i will change i will move this as side i will keep it aside here and also i will import another image so what is this add image image as planes so here i will select this one and import as image so press s and increase the scaling and this also i will place this here as side so let it be side here so in this collections i will add a new collection so right click new collection so in this new collection i will add these both so select the images and drop them onto this new collection and i will rename as tweak so let it be tweak okay so we got these two in this collection tweak collection so now select the cylinder scroll down to the render and change this to collection and in instant collection we will select the tweak okay so now we can say we got that leaves and this twig here so here you can see these are extruding from the center of the branch or center of the vine so it is not coming exactly at the top of this vine so the reason for that is the pivot point so first of all let me change the pivot point and show you so if i select this pivot point it is here so press 7 for top view and let me change the cursor to here and object set origin origin to 3d geometry so now we got the pivot point here and also i will change the same for this also so select the image cursor change the cursor to here object set origin origin to 3d cursor okay so now the pivot point is here so for the both the pivot points are at the tip or at the edges so now you can see we are getting these leaves on the topmost layer of this bark so that is the reason we need to have that pivot point at the end here so make sure you got that pivot point set and now let me enable the curve so select the cylinder come to this modifier options and enable this curve okay so now if i play this we can see we got this nice vine growing animation so here you can see these leaves are rotating here they are not staying steadily so let's fix that so for that again select the cylinder come to this particle options so scroll down and first we need to enable this advanced options come to this rotation enable this rotation expand it and here in already orientation we need to select the normal and tangent okay and let me give a normal phrase rotation here so now if i play this we will not get that rotation of leaves here so here you can see it is staying constant these leaves are staying constant nice so now let's see how we can animate these leaves also like they are growing 
while this bark is moving upwards. So for that we will be using an object. So make sure we are outside of this collection. So simply click on the scene collections and later add any object. So go to this add mesh select torus. So we got torus here. So I will move the torus here just above to this bark. Okay. Above the tree or plant. So we have placed the torus here. Okay. So now select this vine. Press tab on the keyboard for edit mode. Okay. So we need to select all the vertices first. So press A on the keyboard to select all the vertices. Now come to this object data properties here. Here we need to create a vertex group. Simply click on this plus icon. So let me give this as twig, twig pins and as a these vertices to this twig pins group. Nice. So after that again press tab to exit that edit mode. So we need to use a modifier to do that leaves growing animation. So select this, select this cylinder, come to this modifier options, add modifier and add this weight proximity, weight, vertex weight proximity, add it and make sure this vertex weight proximity is about our particle system or else it will not work. So make sure it is about the particle system. Nice. So in vertex group, we need to select the group which we have created that is twig pins and in this target object, I will select this torus so with this torus we can control the scaling animation of the leaves so select this once again now come to this proximity change it to geometry okay so now here we need to adjust the weight paint so let me zoom it up here and change this to weight paint so here everything is red red beam indicates fully weighted so here we need to change it into gradient so let me increase this so here you can see let's so change the values to get this kind of color gradients. So red indicates fully weighted and blue indicates it's not weighted. So again change this to object mode. Okay. So now scroll down to this vertex group and here we need to play with the scale value or else length value. So we need to add groups for this length. So click on this length and add this tweak pins. Okay. So now we can play with the leaves growth here. It's, you can see if I move the torus here, you can see we are getting this leaf scale animated. So let me place this here where our, so at this position, so I want the leaves to be starting growth. So I will move it here like this. Okay. So now you can see we are getting these leaves growth starting from this point. So if you want to change the growth speed, just increase or just play with the position of this helix here. So here, I think this is fine for me. Okay. So now we can increase this particle count. So select the cylinder, come to this particle properties, increase this number to 500. Okay. So you can see we got this 500. Nice. And also let me bring back this ground plane. If you want to add ground plane, you can add. So now if I play this, we can see we got this nice vine growing or plant growing animation in Blender easily. So in this way, we can create this kind of animations easily. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new, please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.